Hey everyone, it is Lynn Bardowski, founder at Million Dollar Party Girl, and we are at episode 52 of Social Girl Live. So we're talking about guest attendance. That is a key performance indicator. How many people are coming to your parties and of course, it's a little bit different home party versus online, right? Why? Because a home party, people show up ready to buy. You're not selling anything. They've already decided to sell, <laughs> I mean, to purchase before they come to the party. Like they come with their debit card or their credit card. Like that's all they brought to the party, right? Online parties, it's a little bit different. The number of gas does not always equal the number of buying customers. So you might be doing a little bit different tracking, you know, instead of number of guests at a party, of course you gotta start there, you gotta get the guests to the party, but you also might wanna be looking at, okay, so 10 guests came, but only five purchased. What can I do to impact that number? Think about this, you have two more guests attend every single party, right? I'm not talking like huge, big change. Instead of six, you focus on eight. If you, if you already had eight attend, on average, we're talking average numbers, then go for 10. Whatever your number is now, add two more. So imagine if you have two more guests attend every single party this year. And imagine if the average order per guest is $50. I'm just using like even easy money. Yours could be 100, yours could be 20. <laughs> We're just gonna go with like middle of the road, $50, okay? That's $100 more in sales per party. Did you do any more work at the party? No, <laughs> you did. You're gonna do the same party whether there's six people or eight people. This is why this is so powerful, right? $100 more in sales per party, but it gets better. If you're averaging five parties per month, so I tried to pick numbers for you guys that were realistic and doable. If you're averaging five, a little bit more than one a week, you've increased your sales by $500 a month and again, all you did was focus on two more people at each party. You did not stop until two more people were coming to that party. But it gets better, <laughs> okay? So five parties a month, stay with me. You might wanna write this down. That's 10 more guests you're meeting every single month. Two per party, five parties, 10 more people you're meeting every single month just doing the same parties, but you're meeting 10 more people. You're not just meeting 10 more people, you're meeting 10 more people that became a customer. <laughs> so this is very high value, right? From those 10 more people, you can book two to three more parties. It's like you had an extra show that you didn't have to go out the door to do. And here's what I found. And again, I'm speaking from experience here, okay? Remember, 27 years. <laughs> speaking from experience, the people that came as guests of somebody else always booked a party. I don't know why, but they did. It was like it was new, it was fresh, it was different for them. Maybe they felt like a little obligation because they were the friend of the friend, but I always booked parties with the guests, the people that brought the friend. And odds are from those 10 people, you were going to sponsor another consultant that month. Remember, these are people that you would have never had the chance to meet, which is amazing. This is why I love talking about numbers. So check this out. At the end of the year, doing the same amount of parties, but focus on two more people at every single party, you're gonna sell, on average, $6,500 more. What? 
$6,500. Now, you can multiply that out by how much profit you're making on those sales and look at the bottom line. You're gonna book on average about 30 more parties are gonna be on your calendar. 30 more parties. And you're gonna sponsor 12 more people. You're gonna sponsor one new person a month. All right, so I'm gonna give you some, some actionable steps. Okay, we like those. Some words to say that you might not have heard before because I like to do that. All right, so number one, let's talk about your hostess. Now, if you if you follow my training, you know I'm all about personal invitations, right? Coaching your hostess to personally invite the guest. That is so key, even more so in today's world. Do not count on a Facebook event notification <laughs> to let people know they're invited. It's impersonal, right? Even in 2018, people still need those personal invitations. They want to feel special. So that is key. As you're coaching your hostess, give her some words to say. Like, hey, what are you doing next Wednesday? I fell in love with, fill in the blank, with your product. And I know you will love it too. Simple words to say. What are you doing next Wednesday? Instead of saying, I'm having a blank party and I want you to come. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Put the question in the beginning. What are you doing next Wednesday? I fell in love with these products. I know you'll love them too. Either come to my home party or come to my fun virtual party. My consultant is hysterical. The lover, be there. So that's a simple invitation. As she's inviting people, you need to tell her this very important line. <laughs> this very important verbiage. And it is encourage people to bring someone I don't know. I meaning I'm the hostess. So if I am inviting Danielle, I'm going to say, what are you doing next Wednesday? I fell in love with these amazing skincare products. I know you'll love them too. And I want you to come and bring someone I don't know. And so that's very specific. It's not bring a friend, <laughs> okay? That's what everybody else is saying. Bring a friend, bring a friend. And so many people have said that, that it doesn't have the same weight anymore. People are just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> but if you say, as the and coach the hostess to say, bring someone I don't know, that's different. That when you say different things than are than are out of the norm of what people are used to hearing and used to seeing, then they pay attention to it. And so it's really important that you are asking specifically what you want because you want to meet somebody new, right? And that party guest is typically thinking they need to invite people the hostess knows and that maybe it's not cool to bring in all these extra people. And the opposite is true. Those are the people you want to meet, the people that are outside of the hostess's circle. So whether it's an online party or a home party, it's not the same people every single time. So encourage her to invite both local people and long distance people. Get her thinking outside the box. Okay, so because she might have a cousin, she might live in New Jersey and have a cousin in California. And if she's having a home party, she's not thinking of inviting the cousin in California. But thanks to Facebook Live, you can go live both for Facebook parties and for home parties. <laughs> How fun would that be to do like behind the scenes at the party? We're live. And people that are long distance can tune in on that event page. Say hi to everybody, see all the people that they haven't seen, their friends, their family members, and get that energy. And you can even, like I've done this, okay? <laughs> you can interview the guests and be like, so what was your favorite thing tonight that you saw? And let them, you know, sell it for you. Let them get everyone excited about booking a party. Let's talk about your guest coaching because you're coaching your guests as well. Did you ever think about that? You're coaching your guests leading up to the party. They've RSVP'd, they're in the event, 
And now you want to challenge them. The hostess is telling them to bring somebody that she doesn't know. You want to give them a different call to action. You want to say, bring someone you know who loves your product. <laughs> because you want to connect with your ideal client, the person that is most likely going to purchase, book a party, maybe even become a consultant. And so that's why how you ask and who you ask people to bring is the biggest game changer. It's not just bring a friend, because that friend could have you know no interest whatsoever and maybe just show up to get some prizes. <laughs> right? And I'm a big fan of using visuals. So what I would do is make a sign. <laughs> I'm all about the signs when you're going live because we know about 80% of people watching are watching on silent. And so that's why signs are important. And I love using signs and props when I'm live because it, again, encourages people to click and watch. It's like, what is she talking about? She's told, cause like, I guarantee a lot of people are watching this replay on silent and they're like, what is that worksheet about? I gotta find out about that. <laughs> so I would be like, oh my gosh. And I would have a, like a bag with tissue paper that like just looks amazing. And you know, this could be like literally the day before the party. That's when they're gonna be thinking about, okay, it's tomorrow, who can I quick reach out to and grab to come with me, right? That's when people tend to, to, to invite their friend to come. On an online party, because a guest doesn't always equal a customer, a little bit different than a home party, right? You might word that differently and say, um, bring a buying guest. <laughs> That's one little word I used to say. Bring a buying guest who loves whatever your product is and be in my bonus drawing. And both you and the guest are in the drawing. You want to reward the person that brought the guest and the guest because that gives them a reason to call their friends and say, you've got to come to this party. We're both going to be in this prize drawing when you come and you, and you know, just order something. <laughs> you'll get in the drawing. So the day before, I'm telling them to bring the friend that loves the product. And that day of the party, I'm saying, okay, we're about to go live tonight, or it's a home party. I'm packing up for, you know, uh, Danielle's party. Please comment and let me know if you're bringing a guest so I can make sure I bring enough prizes. <laughs> so they don't even know what the prize is, by the way. And you might not even know what it is, right? It might just be some extra retired product that you have in your stash. It's gotta be affordable and duplicatable for your teams. And so the other guests could see that people were coming and bringing guests. Do you think they wanna miss out? No. <laughs> and then at the party, you make a really big deal about it, whether it's online or in person. You know, as you're doing your introduction, you're like, who brought friends? I've got, I brought the prizes. And then on your key indicator tracking right here, what is one of the key performance indicators? Repeat after me. <laughs> average number of guests per party. I want you to start tracking every single month. If you like this broadcast and you think it'll benefit your team, feel free to share it in your team group. We, you know, we appreciate when you do that. Thanks everyone.